the Green Army is in camouflage today. This is a relatively green area in Mubias, and it's been raining slightly earlier today. But they are totally looking good in their green and white. Filled up the entire Mubias sugar town with every little place to eat or to drop. These two gentlemen have been uh, putting together for the whole week. Europe, who said uh, that he's uh, now potatoes. You can't understand him using agricultural. Says that the Western team aside is in sixth position now. That means they're a better place than Gormaya, who are in the ninth position. But with the kind of fan base that Gomaya has got in the Kenya Premier League, you obviously do expect them to work harder. And has come back into Gomaya. It will be helping into the midfield. Here is a shot from outside. Rattles the goalkeeper a bit. Ben Roberts. That's a brilliant idea to shoot from that distance, Jacob. Well, some uh, players in that midfield, that is Nicolas Oma. And uh, Western Steamer are running the proceedings at the moment. A good cross coming in. Aloy pick up the loose ball. Justin Munda, my worry is that in the two lineups, I expected Gormaya to struggle as far as midfield is concerned, and uh, really they have not shown any signs. And uh, you, you bet, Ben, uh, when uh, we go into the halftime break, I think uh, Longa Rusik will be thinking about uh, bringing in maybe Antonia. Is the man who's taking the goal kick rather for a Western steamer? Uh, Solomon Nasio is the one who pushes it back into the midfield. Ramasalim with some good ball control but doesn't get the ball through. Ramas um, Danny Sarunkuma recovers to pick up the loose ball. It's a better one to Moses of the Ambo. Out on the left. He shoots on the left foot. Danny Sarunkuma is trying to punch it into the net. It's there. It's 1 0. And it's Joseph Jaguda who. But he's gone off the perimeter of the field. He was going to celebrate with these other fans on the other side. But you have to credit Danny Serenkuma for doing the spade work here and then for Mo to Moses Odiaba who brought in the cross, Jacob. Well, actually, Danny Serenkuma doing everything and also was about to score that one, but uh, it just missed him. Look at uh, Moses Odiaba looking for Danny Serenkuma. But you have to give it up for the new signing here. Jugona Joseph was in just the right position uh, to make... When uh, they're being attacked and then deciding to move forward when they've got possession. But Jacob, is that attack that will work for the Gorbaya side? We've seen they had a little problem in the midfield, didn't they? Well, I think that has been adjusted uh, since the introduction of Antonio Kumo. An equalizing goal here. Well, this one, Freddy Gonyango deals with effectively. Uh, I was just about to tell you that this, the fish gets a little bit sweeter when there's a goal. And it gets even sweeter if there are two goals. Well, the goalkeeper is off his line. This one is being pushed towards the net. It's Jaguna again. But then Dancer and Kuma has put his name on the score sheet. It's 2 0 for Gormaya. And we were waiting to see what Dancer and Kuma would do. He just arrives on time with a little bit of a sense of urgency and pumps it into the net. While Juguna could have scored a brace, Jacob. Well, <laughs> I predicted Danny Serenkuma will do it. He has done it. And Juguna should have been pumping that into the net. He just moved it onto the side. He was preparing a left foot shot. And Dan Serenkuma, I think, wanted more than anything else to be on the score sheet today. Well, what a good way for Longarosek. His first two new signing scoring in their debut. Well, I think Danny Serenkuma was in a better position anyway for that shot. They fought to do as much as they can now. This one, uh, Moses Odiabo heads out. Oh, and then a bigger boot cut. I'm not sure if we are playing to tactics at the moment, Jacob, or we're we just playing to make sure the ball gets onto the other half. Well, I think for Western Stima, uh, Bernard, when you look at uh, the formation they had in the first 45, is completely and Ali Bai uh, being touted as the super subs for this side. But uh, from that midfield in this uh, second half, it doesn't look like a. Uh, they will get two goals. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Back into the midfield with Robert Salim. Picking up the loose ball. And then quickly losing it to a tackle. It's going to be a throw in. Absolutely green and white party will be coming all the way from the Mumia Sugar side, Jacob. Now just accepted the kind of uh, game that Gora has put on them. They're actually defending right now. They have so many. Gora by your side and that's why they're pushing this ball out of the field of play. To get the medical attention for him. Oh, 
Oh, it's all smiles on the side stand. And I tell you... Probably in the first half when the team didn't play so well as expected. But now he gets some reprieve from those two goals. Well, plus he got some verbal caution from uh, the referee as well. So I think it's not going their way in this one. Well, they shot directly. It was a hard shot from the cross here. Western Steamer again running it from the right side. Lovely touch by Alois, uh, Alois Mangi. And then again playing it onto that side with Ali Bai. This one again will be picked up easily by uh, the goalkeeper. But the and Frederick Shimonio has capitalized on it. And has put uh, Western Steamer at least one goal in uh, in the 81st minute of the game. Finds time to thank the divine powers that have helped Gormaya to get three points out of this game. But it was a game that was blowing hot and cold, looking explosive, and then coming back to be a little bit dull. And uh, Logarusic provided his moments of explosion in this game. He was so incensed at some point at the way that things had happened. And um, he ultimately gained his composure. Dani Sarinkuma has rewarded himself and the club with a goal in his first game in the green and white jersey of Gormahia.